A liability? Seriously? You'd never pass for Delta. An interpreter, then. You don't even speak Arabic. I'm wasting my time. I'm not taking a vote here. Okay, you're staying back. I want you here with Felix and Woods. Well, if you have this figured out, I'm not just going to sit around. I'm going out. Let her go. Moving on. Adley, you sure that's all the lie we told you? Before you executed him? You're in my world now, Marshal. Gonna have to grow up fast. I'm listening. Alawi knew the Pantheon had a presence in Iraq. It's part of a technology exchange with Saddam Hussein. Pantheon gets cover in facilities. Hussein gets access to an experimental weapon. But Alawi didn't know what the weapon was? No. Only that they're calling it the Cradle. The Cradle. The cradle. And it's in Iraq right now? Presumably. Alawi said it was in transit to a remote palace. Demonstrations taking place in a bunker underneath. Hussein is a world-class collector of palaces. There are many on this map alone. Alawi was confident he knew the one. Yes. This one. Let's take a first-hand look, then. We'll finalize plans soon, and we'll ship out. Dismiss. I'll take these. Enjoy them. I brought them for you. Figured. You don't usually smoke the shit brands. Don't want you raising your standards. Well, there's never been a better time to be cheap as hell. Hey. Yeah. Listen, I understand that in your own Adler-ass way, you invited us to this place. Maybe you've got squatters' rights, but don't much care. You got a point? What I do care about, what I need you to understand, is that this here is my team. You need us more than we need you, okay? We broke you out of that black site, and I just need an excuse to send you back. Bottom line, you're a stranger to me. All I got on you is your reputation, and it ain't all roses, Adler. Well, you don't have to trust me, Marshal. But it might be best if you do, for you and your team. I'll be the judge of that. Ooh, a contest. So exciting. Should I get a ruler? By the way, Adler, I'm still waiting to get paid. I had a little something stashed for you upstairs, but it seems I was robbed while on vacation. Nah, you just loaned it to us. Forgot to tell you, Zol. Surprise. I just think you and I should spend some quality time together. We should get plenty in Iraq. My thoughts exactly. Sub case. Adler expects everyone to Michael Jordan when he says jump, but I don't do no questions asked. Cat knows a lot more than he lets on. You've heard the rumors. Adler's wildfire burns through whatever's in his way if he gets the job done. Thing is, I'm not dancing to that tune. We're putting an end to the Pantheon and getting out of this thing alive. <laughs> Tell me about it. Woods is really maxing out his credit on this one. But he's got a hell of a large line of it. Figuring this line of work, you'll end up in all sorts of crosshairs. But the CIA's dedicated my life to our country, you know? I believed in its potential. Still do, despite everything. After the Capitol Station? Well, I don't see the cavalry coming either. Well, all there is. He spent the last year gunning for the old guard at Langley. Maybe he was the mole behind Panama, too. If it wasn't Adler, someone shorted a bang-up job making it look that way. I don't know, man. 
Can't say it all adds up. Sounds good. So, here we are. I'm sure he is. And so are a lot of operatives up on the memorial wall. A big heart will weigh you down. I don't know if you had the pleasure of working with Jason Hudson. He was one of the casualties back in Panama. Just weeks before he died, he told me about a paramilitary group that may have infiltrated the CIA. Guess what they were called? Hudson seemed to believe they were homegrown, maybe transnational, but American-dominated. Most likely military and intelligence expats. The recruits seem Western-trained, English-speaking. They know how to think like us, which makes them especially dangerous. After Frank got out of Walter Reed, the news was that I put him in that chair. I was the one who compromised his Panama mission in 89, got Hudson and Mason killed, Woods injured. All bullshit. When I skipped town, I went silent on him, on everyone. Better he hate me than get caught in the net, but I guess it didn't matter in the end. So yeah, he did take a leap. He's loyal. Last March, someone produced documents showing encrypted transfers. From the drug lord Raul Menendez to my personal bank account. I got wind of it before Langley called me in from Morocco. Decided not to get on that plane. I'd been in contact with Alawi since the beginning of the year. He wanted a red carpet out of Iraq and was willing to talk for it. As a minister of defense, his value is high, and he knew it. After coalition forces attacked, well, his timeline changed. I was to meet him in Kuwait and supply passage through Europe. Seems I wasn't the only one who knew his plans. Great talk. in Iraq, Syrian desert. There's a complication. Desert storm. Coalition forces launched the operation two weeks ago against Saddam Hussein. They've taken out as many strategic targets from the air as possible. They haven't destroyed the palace yet, but that's about to change. British SAS forces are on the ground hunting mobile Scud launchers, and they've marked our palace for massive aerial bombing. That can't happen. We don't know what Pantheon's hiding in the bunker under the palace. If it's destroyed, we lose the trail. I reached out to an old collaborator of mine at MI6 for a favor. She pressured the SAS to delay their airstrike, but it'll come at a cost. We're gonna pose as Delta Force operatives so this Helen Park can get us to the front. Then we're gonna help the SAS clean up those scud launches. After that, the palace is ours. The SAS want these scuds destroyed as much as you want that palace. We think the Iraqis could start launching at any time. Battle 2 1, let's crush those launchers. Moving to flank the first sight. All right, Park, keep those Yanks of yours on a tight leash. Charming guy. There, scud up. It's already happening. The site's still a quarter click ahead. Can you pick it up? Activity. Weapon <laughs> three. <laughs>
Job, everyone. Now listen up. Pritchard, Skinner, clear up this rubbish and unload the trucks. Yes, sir. We're building our layup here. Your crew's not too shabby, Park. <laughs> now let's see what else they've got. This will be our base of operations for now. Here, you won the straw vote and get to carry the tack map. We've got a lot of ground to cover, so you'll find it useful. We need to neutralize three more Scud sites. Stay alert out there. You might find other things of interest as well. Gladney's promised to help your team breach the palace if you destroy those Scuds. Help him out, and we'll see if he's a man of his word. You can talk to him yourself if you'd like. He'll stay here in the layup, working logistics for the SAS. Once you're ready to head out, we'll follow your lead. Need something? So much interest in this palace. If it was up to me, we'd have blown it to kingdom come by now. The only reason it's still standing is Miss Park over there. Interesting indeed. Yeah. Just help us take out the remaining scuds and we'll help you get whatever it is you need. Not at the moment. It's too many bloody surface-to-air missiles. In fact, I just received word that some of your Delta Force friends were shot down nearby. We have our own attack helo, but it's not getting up there unless you find some way to disable the SAM sites in this region. The Iraqis have a few new encampments, likely connected to these cross-border missile strikes. Intel reports several unusual forces embedded in the camps. I'm not sure what you should expect there. You're mostly on your own there. Command's made some supply drops in the area, but we haven't had a chance to retrieve them. If you find any, they're yours. I've sent Jackal 1 for the Scuds in sectors 7, 8 and 9. The rest are yours. We put advanced scouts on the ground to find the sites, and they're still out there. If you meet any, they might have additional intel. Don't you Americans talk? Of course. But no one besides Park seems to know about your little pack. To be honest, I don't give a shit about your agenda if we can get the work done out here. Let's hope they make short work of their targets. Don't worry. If all goes according to plan, they'll be back in time to help raid the palace. That is, if you uphold your end of the deal. What do you have in mind? Damned if I know. Maybe the Iraqis have pulled in some mercenary help. Whoever they are, they seem to be connected to some of the new outposts that popped up recently. I'd clear them out if I were you. Well, we can support your crew with an attack helo, but it isn't getting in the air until those surface-to-air missiles are taken out. They're still in the field. If you're looking for them, they're likely near the Scud launching sites. Best of British to you out there.
He's got gunfire to the right. Over those dunes. Careful. This is Lieutenant Colonel Bannon of Delta Force. Requesting immediate backup. Soldier, where the hell? Doesn't matter. I need you to call an airstrike. Terminal's inside the helo. Go! Terminal's inside the helo case, near the front. This is Diesel 2 1, approaching your position. Hold out until I get there. Airstrikes inbound. Stay alive till they get here. Armor's rolling in. Damn it, they're trying to pan us in. Takes care of that. Let's get back to Banner. An airstrike. It's nice the parting roll. gift. Over there. That orange smoke marks a supply drop. Might be worth checking out. I stopped trying to steal our shit. Keep an eye out. That'll help. We should grab any others we find. Let's keep moving. More orange smoke means more supplies. Pantheon cash. Good fine case.
hiding. I believe that's it. Gladney, we've spotted one of the SAM sites. Excellent. If you take those surface to air missiles off the board, we can get your helo support. Might be worth it. Case, a few to your left. We're clear. No time to waste. That's risky. I heard someone. Like a pro. I heard someone. Here. Watch the ground, they got our seas. I believe that's it. We're there. Other oh, Sam side over there. We can hit it now or later. Your call. I'll go to a higher was. All that left. All in. That's risky. We spotted. I 
let someone. Tango, haven't spotted us yet. Keep quiet. I'll leave this tunnel next to one of the Iraqi outposts. Bethany, I can't. Wouldn't want them to be too comfortable out here. That's risky. I'm in Papa Kalia. I believe that's it. Orange smoke out there, Case. Can't let him grab our stuff. Clean. Good. Supply drop. The Rocky's close by. Keep low. Hostiles down. That's the last Sam site up ahead. Let's wrap this up tight, shall we? I don't Good to see you, mates. Captain's waiting in the cave. There you are. I got something for you. Nice work on those Sam sites. We've pulled the tiger's tail now. Got the helo ready to go. Call it in when ready. We got incoming. The Rocky forces converging on our position. Call it in. We'll make short work of the tigers. Call it in, Kate. Chainsaw 3-2, incoming.
Chainsaw 3-2 returning to base. Brilliant. If I were a betting man, I'd wager the Iraqis won't try that again. Delta in the flesh. Come on, I can show you what we're dealing with.
This outpost is clear. Let's move on. Rocks, the unexhausted.
You finally take care of those scuds. Impressive. Now that's out of the way. If you're ready to move on that palace, I'll notify my men. We go in now, we go in with what we have. You sure? I'll give the word. Adler on me. We're going down. We'll hold the area. Be quick about it. Huh? 
Hostiles inside! Grenade out! Them. Look out, grenade! Blood coming! Oh. We're clear! Let's go! This better be it. Really make you work for it, don't they? Kill. Good God. Saddam's hoarding millions down here. Hell, this gold toilet's worth that much. And he traded it all for a WMD. We're close. Clear. What the hell happened in here? Biohazard cabinet. Must be the demonstration Alawi mentioned. How about that hard case there? Check it out. What do we got? The cradle. Panthing has a goddamn biological weapon. And they put this in Saddam's hands too? A sample of it, based on what I'm seeing in here. What'd you find? A disc. And some notes, all in Russian. The project's headed by Matvi Gusev. Sounds like you know him. I recognize the name. Gusev was a scientist in the Soviet Union's biological weapons program, Biopreparat. Intelligence had him fleeing Russia last year. Then he vanished. Gusev gave the Pantheon a Soviet bioweapon? No. According to this, the cradle came from somewhere else. A research facility I'm familiar with. It's American. America. All right, visiting time's over, you three. We need your help up here. Heavy top side. Let's move. Did you get what you wanted? Not exactly. But we got what we needed. We need to clear a pickup zone. Let's get to the palace rooftop. Let's go. We've got a stash of weapons over here.
Vehicles incoming from the south. Hold your ground. More rockets incoming. Keep holding the roof. Bunch of Pantheon and Iraqis on the way. Where's our exit? Bravo 1, Mr. Towers 1. We'll have a quick clear position. Prepare for extraction. Talon 1, too hot! We got enemy halos in the air! Roger, maintaining distance. Again. Well, look at that, Adler. We actually agree on something. The Pantheon has a biological weapon. The papers we found in that bunker, they had a name attached. Matt V. Goose, a Soviet weapons scientist. We think he's still in Iraq, somewhere. Adler's volunteered to stay behind and track his ass down. I'll have Felix examine the disc we found while the rest of us investigate the origin of the cradle. If Adler's right, this thing may have come from a research facility on U.S. soil. A Soviet scientist and an American bioweapon. What the hell are we getting into? You've asked Harrow about this supposed research facility. She's not picking up. Told her to look into Livingston. You think something's happened to her? To ask, it's my fault. The weight of the world on your shoulders. We know the risks. Yeah, well, this isn't exactly what I imagined. Because it's not just about you. How'd you feel about coming with me in case stateside? I'd consider it. <laughs> Felix still in the kitchen. Don't complain. We ate well while you were off wandering the desert. <laughs> he should be decrypting the disc Adler found. We need whatever's on it. Hey, chef, you cracked that disc yet? <sighs> Patience, please. Cryptography is like preparing pufferfish. Rush through it and risk losing everything. Okay. Is he planning to serve us pufferfish? Oh. 
Now, you said no complaining. I did, didn't I? Let me know when we're close to leaving. Gonna get dealt bad hands, kid. With us, the stakes are high. To be honest, I don't think I could have done it. Come back home after what happened in Panama. <clears throat> Trusted anyone again. You keep believing in the ones who got your back. Who go to battle for you. Adler was one of those. When those records turned up after Panama, the wire transfers to Adler from Raul Menendez, two-bit dope slinger, I smelled bullshit. Adler turn against his brothers for cash? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Those threads he loves, they ain't cheap now. Listen. I know he can be a goddamn psychopath. I get it. But he's on our side. He just got his own way of doing things. <laughs> I don't know what the rules are anymore. <laughs> You're figuring it out, kid. Handling things, making calls. I just wish I was out there kicking ass with you. Kills me to be in this thing. Hold on now. You listen. You're essential, man. All right, chair or no chair. I know you can't get around the way you used to, but this, this is strong. Maybe you were, maybe you were Captain America before, and now, now you're like Professor X. Who? Get out of my face, man. Not in the mood right now. Save it, Case. favor and check on Felix, will you? Case, need something before we go? What? Over the acting? Please. Not worth the energy. Contrary to Marshall's manly sensibilities, I could have helped. But you made it back alive, so... Oh, that's not fair. I need to generate revenue case. Taking down Avalon's crime factions isn't cheap. Don't get me wrong. You have a noble pursuit. But it isn't my fight. I'm not American. Don't have a misguided sense of patriotism like Marshall over there. Adler's only interested in whatever connections Avalon has to the Pantheon, if any. He could care less about my own mission. Or anyone else's, for that matter. Don't expect any bleeding heart behavior from him. A very long ten miles down the mountain. To the nearest town. Rustic, you might call it. Place was depressing. 
But I hate having nothing to do. And I wasn't keen on being cooped up here with Woods. Stay strong. I'm afraid I'll need a little more time. Unless you've come to help. Yet to be determined. I found these cookbooks in storage, but I'm afraid my Cyrillic skills are not as sharp as they once were. And I am working with ingredients that I could hunt and forage from the surrounding area. So, let's call it a stew, shall we? <laughs> I see. Because I no longer desire to take a human life, you believe my heart bleeds for all creatures. It's an understandable assumption. However, these are very different circumstances. To hunt mm, is to be in symbiosis with nature. To take a life without due cause is parasitical. Society is a predatory structure. Those with power, whether legitimate or otherwise, prey on those without and use thugs, uniformed as I once was, or otherwise, to enforce their rule. The Stasi, CIA, organized crime in Avalon, most assuredly Pantheon, all are institutions of oppression. I bloodied my hands, burdened my soul with complicity, and now I live in shame. Never again. I cannot say. I think that makes us a necessary evil. Perhaps this is why I prefer computer systems. One's and zeros. However, binary thinking is not conducive to modern existence. Social systems are complex webs. I think we can only navigate the gray and hope that history views us favorably. Whatever it contains is locked behind some rather impressive encryption. I was able to write a program to decrypt it. But the truth is, I am stumbling in the dark at best. Not so much picking the lock as drilling through the tumblers. Hmm. Considering where you found it, the logical assumption is that it holds data pertaining to a weaponized biological agent. Or pornography. Feel free to come by the kitchen later. Might need a test subject. Pantheon gained access to a military research facility called Advanced Technologies and Applications. Sounds impressive. It's located in eastern Kentucky. The building is marked as cost for solutions on the surface. Underneath, it's a whole different story. This place looks pretty remote. Nothing but forests and hills. We should park a few miles out, hike the rest of the way in. Once we're inside, our target is the biotechnology wing. Adler thinks that's where the cradle may have come from. We need some answers on what this thing does. Didn't you say Adler worked there at some point? Briefly, about 10 years ago. He mentioned unusual classified programs there using human subjects. Then suddenly the place was shut down and quarantined after a biohazard incident. The cradle. It's sure looking that way. Seb, how's it going on your side? Still looking for a way in. 
The north doors are totally sealed. You? Case and I are in Southgate Utility Entrance. Looks like someone's been through here recently. Used the freight elevator. Chain's broken. All right. The mask's gone. Your turn. Hang on, I've got... Technology restricted. Please see security for access. It's for you. facility is off limits to patients. I hope you understand. Welcome back, Case. Biotechnology restricted by Security Access 4. Four director key cards required for entry. Bringing back memories yet? Airflow redirection activated. We thought we'd never see this place again. Those are the stairs we want. Don't worry, the cradle can't hurt us anymore. We're special. 
special since we first experienced the cradle. Ten years ago. Advanced Combat Research. ACR employees are reminded that authorized safety equipment must be worn on the testing floor at all times. Case might be having calm issues. Radio sounds for a while now. Case, are you getting any of this? We forget to pick something up. Excellent work, Case. Three more. 
key cards to go. Director key card accepted. Evacuation protocol five. for the next step. They documented the making of a cradle here. They used to take their reports to the director. Now it's up to us. Maybe he'll give us his keycard in return. We'll find the missing reports for him. We found the first report. They were all complicit.
left. You deserve this. generation of operatives would be born of it. Necessary at times as well. I, I sincerely apologize. Uh, just until we understand these recent behavioral changes. Safety is our top priority. Track it down, Case. It has the key card we need.
find it. Access gate opened. We'll need to drain the water to get to it. Rain 
Weapon switch locked. Drill switches one, two, and three are locked. Override timer initiated. 25 seconds remaining.
Director keycard accepted. Director keycard accepted. Director keycard accepted. Access to biotechnology granted. Let's get the hell out of here. 